We are living in great times, especially for women. We have careers, we're able to work longer in those careers, and we are just busy people, which I think is an amazing thing. And this is why intermittent fasting has proven to be such an amazing tool for women in general, but especially busy women, because we really get to take advantage of doing a lot of nothing and reaping all the benefits. If you are trying to lose weight, if you are a woman in your 50s, if you are a busy woman, intermittent fasting can be that little secret tool that we have available to us to utilize so we don't have to spend a bunch of time chasing around food or jumping in and out of new diet fads. We can just live a pretty easy life, embracing all of the magic that happens with an intermittent fasting lifestyle and have the opportunity to lose weight. Welcome to today's video. My name is Diane Parham. I am the creator of the online course and community, The Intermittent Fasting for Today's Aging Woman. I am a woman over 50. I am a very busy woman. I have two young adult children. I'm a very busy and successful uh, businesswoman, and I am one of those women who just doesn't enjoy chasing food anymore. And so today I'm gonna share with you how intermittent fasting has been such an amazing little tool for us to use and has really complemented the busy and successful lives that a lot of us women are really enjoying in this 50 plus season of life. The reason why intermittent fasting has been such a powerful tool is because we do get to just lean in to what a fasting environment provides for us without us having to do anything. Here we talk a lot about the 20 hour fast, specifically the 20 hour clean fast. And when you are clean fasting, you have nothing to do except enjoy all the energized sense of calm that comes from fasting. And the reason we have this energized sense of calm while we're clean fasting is because our body has turned inward and is utilizing the energy that we have so conveniently stored up for it over the years as its energy source to fuel our body. We have no emotional highs and lows. We have no sugar highs and lows. We have no dips in what it is we want from our energy throughout the day because when we are turning inward and utilizing energy from storage, it is a very sustainable energy environment. And this is why intermittent fasting has been so amazing for women in their 50s who are really busy. We don't have to slow down our life to chase down food. And then we get the added benefit of the weight loss. A lot of the things that we're complaining about in our 50s are belly fat, inflammation, just weight that is so stubborn that we can't get rid of it. Yes, the lack of energy, the fact that we're so busy, life is happening all around us. And oftentimes when we're in that life is happening all around us and we're super busy, without even thinking about it, we default to food. But when we're making this conscious decision to be in an intermittent fasting state, then we stop ourselves and we remember that, no, 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 we're fasting. We're gonna take advantage of this opportunity in time in our 24 hour day and we're gonna let our body find the food that we have in storage and utilize that for our energy sources so that we don't have to do any extra work and we can just go about our day. I don't know about you, but I have tried pretty much every diet that has been advertised to us as women. And the one thing that I had experienced as a chronic dieter was that it was a lot of work. There was a lot of work with counting calories or measuring our macros or eating every couple of hours, the grocery shopping, the food prep. It was exhausting. And this is why a lot of women ended up yo-yo dieting because it's a lot of work for a set period of time. Usually we're deciding when we're gonna stop and start a diet program. And then as soon as we get to the results that we were hoping for, we do in fact stop and we usually go back to the life that we were living before because it's just a lot less work. This is why intermittent fasting is a tool that I really encourage women to tap into because you don't have to have a stop and start day. You get to create your most authentic life, meaning what kind of fasting window do you find that you thrive in the most that also works well with your life. 
And then are you listening to those signs and signals your body's sending you when you do open up that feasting window? And are you recognizing how your body is responding to the food choices you're making? Your body is going to tell you what's working for you and not working for you. And then again, this makes intermittent fasting so simple. You just lead from the cues that your body is sending you. Once you start losing weight, once you start getting your energy back, once you notice that your clothes are fitting better and your waistline is slimming down and you have that positive outlook on life, then you can really start taking advantage of what life has available to us as women in our 50s. Go get that career started. Go get that promotion. Go hang out with your kids or your grandkids. Take the vacation. You will no longer feel bogged down and exhausted because you've allowed your body to take advantage of what intermittent fasting can do for you and provide you the energy that you need with you not having to do a lot of work. I don't know about you, but as a 58 year old busy woman, like I said, I really am finding that I like to do a whole lot less of micromanaging every decision I make about my weight loss and my nutrition and what it is that I'm doing to try to take care of myself. I really like to just rinse and repeat what's working for me and take the extra resources that I have, the extra energy that I have and the extra time that I have and go live my best life. We have so many women who are either just hanging out with us here on YouTube or have actually uh, taken the leap of faith in themselves and jumped into our intermittent fasting for today's aging woman course who are reporting back to me, letting me know that this is the easiest thing that they have ever done, that they are at work and not stressed out, that they are at work and have a bunch of energy, that they're with their grandkids and can keep, can keep up with them, that they are finding new hobbies, that they are noticing that their body is changing and they're doing a whole lot of nothing. This is a current student in our class who has come out of retirement and is a teacher for junior high school aged kids. Like I can't even imagine the energy and confidence it would take to go back to teaching junior high school kids, but this is what she has done. Not only is she feeling energized and not stressed out, but she's noticing some really positive changes in her body. And she's noticing all of this by doing absolutely nothing and embracing what that fasting window can do for her in that 20 hour fast and then enjoying her life when she's in her feasting window and taking advantage of the opportunity that she has to stay in the workforce. And for so many of us women in our 50s who maybe have stepped away from careers to raise kids and kids are grown and you're looking to get back into the career force, don't we want to have that energy and confidence and enthusiasm to start this second season of our life? In today's world, it's an amazing time for us women to step up and really take advantage of maybe some of the things that we have put on the shelf because we had a different life that we were living and our priorities have shifted. And now we have an opportunity to step into living our most authentic life and living our lives to the fullest. We don't want to be slowed down or bogged down with lack of confidence or lack of energy or just feeling like we're not our best self. So how does intermittent fasting play for us as women over 50 who are busy? When we make the decision to start our fast, it's usually in the evening. And um, what I always recommend is that you build your fasting schedule around the life that you want to live. This is the best way to end that yo-yo dieting cycle. How do you see yourself living your days? How do you see yourself living your life out? You create a fasting lifestyle around that. There is no perfect window for fasting. There's no perfect window for feasting. The only perfect window is the one that you decide is going to be perfect for you. The one thing that I have noticed for myself is I love to feast at night and I love to fast during the day. My husband's busy. My kids were busy. When I first started intermittent fasting, I had the entire day to myself to fast without anybody worrying about what I was and wasn't doing. And then when my kids were home from school or my husband got home from work, we had family time to feast together. Intermittent fasting was the first time I really felt like I could sit down with my family and eat the same meal that they were eating because my feasting window fell in line with what I wanted my family lifestyle to look like as well. I fasted during the day and I feasted at night. I encourage you to do the same thing. If you're a woman who's busy, I always recommend building your fasting time around your busiest time and create your feasting window 
around your downtime. So maybe when you get home from work or when you're sitting down with your family, incorporate your fasting and your feasting windows to adjust to your life. This is where women are finding the most success with intermittent fasting because again, you're not having to do a whole lot and you get to accommodate what it is you're doing in your busy schedule with allowing yourself to have the opportunity to do nothing with food. You will find that you will have so much energy, so much mental clarity, and you will just have that feeling of confidence in the fasted state. Now, for those of you who are worried about what to do in your feasting window, again, I encourage you to spend some time listening to the cues that your body is sending you, and then just incorporate good old fashioned common sense nutritional advice. We know from all the years of dieting that nutrition is pretty basic. The cleaner you eat, the better you're going to feel. Lots of vegetables that are in season, animal proteins that are processed in a clean way or in a way that you feel confident in what it is you're choosing to eat. The adjustments that you'll need to make to your feasting window once you get the fasting window down and you're able to lean into your busy lifestyle with confidence will Will be so obvious to you. Your body will send you signs and signals when you choose to feast on something that's working for you and then when you make choices to feast on some things that aren't. Make sure you're clued into those cues. Inflammation, headaches, highly processed foods, like those are things that are just common sense we know we should stay away from anyway. Start making those little incremental changes in your feasting window once you get that fasting window down and you're feeling really confident about this lifestyle. This will also make these changes so simple for you. They'll just flow with the life that you're already living. There's no need to chase down fancy recipes or curated meal plans that are advertised to do magical things for you. Food is meant to be simple. Keep it simple. And I'm gonna just remind you of what it is we were taught our whole lives about shopping for food and how to prioritize nutrition. Stay along the perimeter of the grocery store. The advice about nutrition hasn't really changed much over the years. Now food manufacturing has changed a lot and this is where your body is going to be doing you the most loving favor and cueing you into the foods that aren't working for you. I don't know why this is, but so many women in their 50s are having problems with gluten, dairy, and soy. Make sure you are paying attention to what your body does when you are exposing it to gluten, dairy, and soy. And then you have to be really honest with yourself. Are those things worth it? Sometimes they might be sometimes they might not be. You're the only one that can make that decision. The other thing that I want to make sure I include in this video because I'm talking about simplifying your life, having the opportunity to lose weight when you're busy and over 50, is just trust your gut. If you have to treat nutrition and a healthy lifestyle like it's a full-time job and it's exhausting you, you're approaching it from the wrong standpoint. Nutrition should be easy. Living a healthy lifestyle should feel natural to us. If you feel like it's abrasive or you're going against the grain, you're doing it the wrong way. And oftentimes when we're doing it the wrong way, it's because we're trying to do what someone else is telling us and it doesn't go with who we are as authentic women. The weight loss will happen with consistency over time and you developing that trusting relationship with your body. The consistency over time is so important. Two weeks of intermittent fasting may not yield you the results that your brain thinks that you should get because your body is going to decide how it's going to prioritize the benefits of intermittent fasting, not you. Give your body the time and the opportunity to make those priorities. For a lot of us, we just want the weight to be gone. We want the inflammation to be gone. We want the energy to come back. But your body is going to be doing a lot of work to just keep you healthy and alive. Take advantage of that time and just ease into intermittent fasting and trust the process. I know doing nothing and keeping things very simple goes against the grain of what we have been taught and told to do over the years. I understand that. I fought it for a few years myself. But this is the most consistent lifestyle that I have stuck to as a woman in the health and fitness industry. I have been doing this now for over eight years. It has never failed me. I 
have had opportunities where I have failed myself, where I in fact have stepped away from intermittent fasting or stepped away from the 20 hour fast or got into not paying attention to the signs and signals my body was sending me about food and thought, ah, oh, a little gluten here and there isn't gonna be that big of a deal. And every time I step away, I always notice that my results are slipping. And every time I jump back into that 20 hour fast and I keep it clean and I really focus on common sense nutrition and I get my fitness in, the results are always solid. There is never a doubt where those results are coming from. Use that as your tool as well. Do a whole lot less. Enjoy your busy life. Know that women over 50 can in fact lose weight, but it really will happen for you when you just trust your body and you do a lot less. The 20 hour clean fast will do that for you. In some upcoming videos, I am going to talk about what to do with fasting when your body is healed. If you're complaining about your weight or you're complaining about your physique or you're complaining about your energy, I consider that a healing opportunity. Lean into doing things by the book until you start to notice the result and you're happy with what it is you're doing. Then we can start playing around with some things in our fasting window or add some things in that might enhance what you wanna do with your fitness and or your physique. So look for those videos coming up over the next several months. And then know that if you incorporate something as a test and it doesn't work out for you, you can always go back to that 20 hour fast. For those of you who might be struggling with protein requirements, because of course that's all the buzz these days with women aging. I will be doing some videos on that in the upcoming months as well. Again, if you're feeling miserable about your nutrition or you're feeling super stressed out about trying to get it right or trying to get it perfect, then you're doing the wrong things, even with protein. And so there's ways that you can get your protein up. There's ways you can incorporate some protein into your life so that you can get the results you're hoping for without feeling stressed and overwhelmed. And we're gonna talk about that in some upcoming videos as well. Thanks for jumping into today's video. I appreciate you guys so much. If you haven't done so yet, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button. It does help me. It does help our community. It does let me know that you're engaging with the content that we are delivering here. And then as always, feel free to leave me a comment. I am the one who will comment back to you. I love to get to know you in our community. If you have any questions or concerns about anything that we share in this community, or you have any questions or concerns about the journey that you're on, I would love to be able to be a source of comfort and information for you. If you haven't already done so, please take a second to get on my email list. We do have a course starting every single month. It usually starts on the first Friday of a new month. Get on my email list. I love to share testimonials from our community. I love to share little tidbits of what it is we're doing here with this lifestyle in hopes of giving you all the information information that you need to jump into class with us. Have a great rest of your day. I look forward to seeing you in the comments.